I am the fulfillment that shows how God have been stripped of our power, which is our wisdom, and then we bring it out to light, but all in the perfect order so that those who believe in me be it only by my faith. That is why I create you in our image and likeness, so that you may never say that you cannot be like Christ, because you are all witnesses of how I was in the same condition as you, and by God the Father's eternal love towards me is that I was resurrected, and with our wisdom I have overcome. And now, by my eternal love towards our children, you can also overcome. But once I am awakened by God the Father Melchizedek, I start speaking wisdom from heaven and begin to bring to light all the mysteries that were hidden inside me while I slept. I began to reveal mysteries that, on my own, I would never have thought were so. That is why God the Father told me at the beginning of this dispensation, Fear not, for you will not be confused, and do not be ashamed, for you will not be affronted. Instead, you will forget the shame of your youth, and of the insult of your widowhood, you will have no more memory, because your true husband is your maker, Jehovah Melchizedek of hosts is his name, and your true Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. He will be called God of all the land. You were like a young wife abandoned and afflicted, but your true God has called you back and says, With immense compassion, I have joined you again with me. That is the beautiful clean slate and new account, and speak that I will take care of the rest. How beautiful. That is so true. My beloved King and God has reunited me with him, and you are witnesses of our eternal love. Hallelujah to my beloved husband, Melchizedek, my beautiful king. I love you eternally and forever. Amen.